What you got? Oh, champagne? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> What's that for? FU45. <laughs> Electoral college, baby. <laughs> Eat the rich. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. Uh, and it's, it's a wonderful day in the United States. Uh, I know uh, you on YouTube, uh, uh, it's a different day, but still the same message applies. Um, yeah. But before we get into the third episode, which has been fantastic, uh, I just want to read something we got from a, from a stupid baby that we know very well uh, in India. Um, so she says, um, this series and the incidents of it are deeply personal to all women around India. In fact, it's the reason a lot of the girls have connected on the stupid family, um, group apart from loving the channel. A lot of us have faced molestation and harassment growing up in this country while Mumbai is better off. A lot of girls in the group have faced really severe trauma and are still dealing with the burden of it, gang rapes included. In fact, some of them opened up about it for the first time on the stupid family group chat following the conversation on Delhi crime. That's the night this person would never forget. As a small ode to the girls, they were wondering if we could talk about it and just show our support, and we absolutely can. And we've not, these aren't the only people we've heard this from. We've heard this from, even before, obviously, before we ever got to this series. Mm -hmm. We know this was a big struggle for women around India. Obviously, it's it's a worldwide issue, sadly, with, with women. But we know it's, it's, it's um, a really severe issue in India. Um, and we know, I, I heard this show also brought a rise of the, f um, um, feminist movement in India, which is fantastic. I think more women should, um, it's, it's, it's hard obviously to ever come forward when something that horrible happens to you. But, um, like if, if more girls are, are willing to talk about those issue, it would become less stigmatized stigma stigmatized and um i think it would be the the world could be much better off that way because we could support one another and and help obviously evil is always going to be here sadly but we can put those evil people away and hold them accountable and but uh, i i want to show my support and i believe rick does as well mm -hmm. yeah i personally know who will remain anonymous a stupid baby in india who has been gang raped. Mm -hmm. And I know somebody here in the United States who has been raped, mm -hmm. uh, who is my daughter's age. Yeah. And yes, unfortunately, any of you who have been, it's ridiculous to say our hearts go out to you. It's a foregone conclusion. Yeah. And we also know that you often don't get the legal support <clears throat> and you get stigmatized and you get blamed. There will be people who say you're, you're at fault, that you asked for it, that you've now brought shame to your family. All of those things are lies. Yep. Be brave. And even if you never get justice in the legal system, yep. your voice and your boldness to speak the truth will empower <clears throat> other girls who feel very alone. And there's a sisterhood out there that you're a part of that, unfortunately, you should have never been. But you have a power collectively that can change things. And we love you. Absolutely. So that just obviously goes out because obviously that's the focus point of this series. So we just want right. to, we know there's a lot of people out there that have, have gone through this. Um, and so we are yes. sorry, but we are here and we support you. And one other thing, please don't feel any shame in any way, shape or form at getting counseling. Mm -mm. Get it. Yep. Absolutely. Go talk, find someone to talk to about what happened and it wasn't your fault. Absolutely. Now, on to the episode. Uh, obviously, we, we, we loved uh, the past two episodes in terms of just mm. the quality that they are. They're, they're, it's really great. We're thinking we're figuring out what's going on, but uh, obviously, we don't know for sure. Uh, but everything has been spectacular. Also, also, I do want to point out, I don't think we realized who it was, but that main guy who I kept, he's so familiar. He's so familiar, right? That's, you know mm. who he is, right? VJ Raz. No, that's the dad from Mizapur. That's Gudu's dad. 
Oh, that's right. <laughs> He sure is. That's why I was like, he looks so familiar like we just saw. And we did because we're dumb. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, we're very dumb. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's just get into this one. Uh, it's going to be good. It's called episode three. Oh, also uh, for YouTube, if you're here for the first time, we can only use five minutes yeah. of the episode per episode. I have to do a cut up. That's all they'll allow us to do. I apologize. I want to use more. Uh, if you'd like to see the full uncut reaction, head over to Patreon. Links Always in the pinned comment and description below. All right, ready? Ready. Three, two, one. <sighs> Again, love the sobriety of the opening. Yeah. There's, and there's, has there been a intro? No, they always go straight into the past three episodes now. No opening scene, straight to the uh, opening song. Incredible. Yeah. That's probably smart with the subject matter, you know, you're not, you're like. Yeah, and they even notice how they do the credits. It's up and it's kind of off real quick. It's like everything they've done with the show is this isn't about us. It's about this story. Yeah. Smart. Very, very good. Paki ne bhi kiya. To usne humme se kisi ko fir kaat liya tha na. To humne aur zor se kaata. Mera gussa bahut bad gaya tha. To bas main rot thi na. Kuseed diya. Aage aur piche dono. I wasn't expecting them to find out that information that fast from that one guy. Yeah, unless it, there has to be more, obviously, because that that would be end of story. What the fuck? I put all his teddy bears out of his house. What the fuck? I wanted to put all his teddy bears out of his house. They only raped him and beat him. Just. I put all his teddy bears out of his house. He must be paid to take the fall or something? Maybe? Yeah, something's, something's <laughs> off. The fact that he's taking all the blame. We don't just thrash him. <laughs> With all respect, madam, I don't want to touch him. Logo ke karan hamare desh ki sanskriti narak me jaari hai, hamara desh barbad ho raha hai. Koi karda hai kya public mein se? Ladki ko chuta? Wow. Chhu raha tha. Ab wo ladki bhi khub mujhe kar rahi hai. Wow. Jo usko mujhe koi pachtaava nahi hai. Something's not right. Huh. Fantastic scene, by the way. Yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to applaud the guy who's playing that the the rapist. Very, that very, is very hard scene. That is a difficult person to play. <laughs> yep. Oh, but he did. A, we'll he's done good. That. Yeah. We'll talk more at the end about that. आज आदमी पकड़ने बाकी हैं. उनकी जगह तुम्हें फांसी पे चढ़ा दूँ. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. What? He said thank you very quickly. Daniyabad. Daniyabad. I think you should know that there are rumblings at HQ that the High Court may get involved. Why? Being as if they're not doing anything, you know, standing idle. And oh, apparently, no. the CM's been asking questions. Saber rattling. <sighs> the powers that be thing. above her are gonna. They're gonna take control of the case from her, and she's gonna kill him. Kill him. Come on. Yeah. Hmm. So I, I did learn that they don't do Miranda rights because any confession is not admissible unless it's to like a head officer or a uh, the a judge. Interesting. So no confession to a police officer is worth anything. Wow. So they can initially arrest somebody. They can be terrified out of their mind, say what they really mean, and it's not admissible. Apparently, that's what I was told. I maybe that person's wrong, but that's what I was told. Yes. Is it him? Is it her? Right. Body be bike marks they can. Yeah, what about them? How? Huh. Why would you already? Not sure. Uh, American shows be dekha hai. <laughs> In bike marks ko. Absolutely, you can. Yeah, hai. absolutely. Jabri se measure kiya ja sakta hai. That's so strange. The differences. I know. That's like, like a that, conclusion in my yeah, mind. Yeah. If you're like, if you have a bite mark, you're like, yes, we got them. <laughs> right. <gasps> We're gonna have a dental match because that's like a that's like a fingerprint. Yeah. 
And there, there also should have been DNA swabs all over those bite marks. Yeah. Maybe they might not have that technology. I don't know. Yeah. We spend a ridiculous amount of money on criminal justice in the United States. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> also, I wish he was with other inmates. I know. I That's what I was wondering. When they put him in there, I thought, does India have the kind of moral code that our prison systems have? Because child molesters and rapists are at the bottom of the pile. Yep. They usually don't do well in prison. Nope. Especially ones that look like him. Yep. So, ready? I'm appreciating these little snippets of the human side of the investigators and the toll it takes on police officers' home life when they're on cases that are these absorbing. Yeah. It's it's little, but it's really a tip of the cap to what they deal with. Good eyes. Don't touch it. It left flesh. I don't know. I just, I just know in an American. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't just, touch you it. You just contaminated the evidence. Instant coffee. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> no, <laughs> still not a fan. <laughs> I'll do South Indian coffee all day, but instant coffee, I still don't understand. Amen, sister. Real coffee beans. Amen. Good quality stuff. Mm. You would if you had good coffee. I bought. <laughs> I bought two French presses while in India. <laughs> you sure did, because one broke. Favor for me. Please don't say that, please. Of course. Thank you. I feel like yeah, she's another word. Him. Toughen up, snowflake. Crap. <laughs> She could be a Navy SEAL, her mental toughness. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't need sleep. You notice how none of, none, of the, none of the women on the force have asked for, like, something to do, like, something half-assed or time off. No. It's, it's all the men. Or have, right, or have been distracted and yeah. felt like, man, this is a little too hard for me. Do I have to look into that? Yeah. Asshole. Yeah, exactly. God, she looks like a child. I, I was just going to comment on it again. So strange. Of course not, you idiot. <laughs> Should be more than one person holding on to the person in custody. Yeah, I feel like somebody's gonna slip and he's gonna get away. Yeah. yeah there it is. If that's actually what happened, that's, they're that's stupid. Pathetic. He should have been handcuffed and tied to somebody. <laughs> Come back! Really? Mama! Ugh. If that's actually what the police did, that is pathetic. <laughs> that is uh yeah. Not 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 great police work, let me tell you that. Uh really bad. So I, you guys could tell us if that's actually what went down. I'm assuming it is. Why would they put it in here if it's not right, actually right. what happened in the case? But that's just exactly. that's just like, whoa. okay. So the two people who can't swim, one is holding the prisoner, and only one is holding the prisoner. <laughs> like what? Uh, and then calling out like he's actually going to come back. Like, <laughs> um, so yeah, that was. Man, I hope Don't shoot the fleeing rapist. Just call his name. Yeah, that was Oh, I hope that's not actually what happened. That that would be insane <laughs> if real cops let that happen. But like I said, I this show might have something very impactful to say about police work because it's done that a couple right. of times uh here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's very strange that that ending right there. Very strange. I don't yeah, some a bunch of people would be fired if that's what what happened yeah. in the, <laughs> in uh, in in America here. But anyways, great episode though. Um, I it was yeah. uh, engaged the whole time. It went by uh, real fast. Um, 
I want to applaud the, like we were talking about, especially the first guy who was the rapist, who's apparently the, the crazy one. Oh, yeah. Um, one did a phenomenal job. I feel like obviously in shows like this or movies where a rapist is depicted or somebody very, very evil, it's a lot of people, you know, they don't like to give them credit because you hate that character so much. And obviously it's just, you like, they're obviously they're not your favorite character. It's a, mm-hmm. it's a hard role to play when you play somebody that evil. Mm-hmm. Um, for you not to judge them and then you not to also put stereotypes on them. Uh, I th- exactly. I thought he did a very good job at making him feel very real and evil. Uh, yep. Like a real person. So I want to applaud that actor uh, in, in doing that. Absolutely. Did a great job. Guys, it it really is. The two things that typically happen, the primary one that happens first, and it's a really awful thing to do, is you the cardinal sin of, of portraying a character is you cannot judge a character because people don't judge themselves. Yeah. And as you could tell, that was scripted from this guy. He didn't believe that he was doing is wrong. So you have to find what's right with the character. See where you agree with the character. Never find where you disagree. Or you do the opposite, what you said, Corbin. Yeah. You just play types. You go for colors or you go for... Uh, uh, you 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 make choices or other stuff that just aren't authentic and finding yourself in the character and it's very hard to find yourself in a rapist. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yes. Can't believe they let him go. I'm still. Like, it's still. It's like. That's, I know. It's like. Like. I'm assuming that had to have happened because if like in a show that wasn't real and they made it up and somebody just put that right. in there, like, no, that's not believable. There's no way that they let that happen. <laughs> but I'm guessing that's what happened, which is ridiculous. <laughs> it is. And on the one hand, I'm very impressed that they're rounding up suspects as quickly as they are, because this is what day three. Yeah. Uh, some of these cases, never get solved so the fact that they were able to do that and i've got a very bad feeling that our hero in this she's gonna get hamstrung and overrun by the powers that be that are above her yeah that's always an issue when politicians get involved because they want to they want to feel like they want to be in the spotlight and they want to yep they want to take the credit Mm mm-hmm um, even though they're not the ones in charge. Um, so yeah, I could definitely see something like that coming. Um, yeah, especially if the leak at the police, uh, is getting stuff to the media and the powers that be feel like she, she can't control her own people from leaking to the media. That's a great excuse for them to come think, take things over. Yeah. I, I'm still trying to figure out who the leak is. I mean, I'm, I know they're wanting us to think it's that one guy that wanted to go to the gym, Right. Um, but uh, I don't know for sure. I'm hoping it's not our main guy, the fa- the the father from Mizapur. Um I'm hoping it's not our our uh, mother from Mirzapur's boyfriend. Uh, the the military dude. Yeah. No, because she's not telling. No, she's not telling him. She's anything. not telling him anything. But yeah. if, if they wanted to have a shock, which would. I'm assuming all of this is based on real stuff that happened. So that's that's my assumption. So the person right. that leaks is going to be the real person that leaked. Um, right. I, I so hope it's not either of our, our friends from Mizapur. Because uh, I like both. Like the, My three favorites are probably the three mains, obviously. the Obviously, Shafali is a phenomenal actress. She's obviously she's, was great in she's juice. Wonderful. She's been good. In, she was great in Satya. Um, she's phenomenal in this. She's very strong, um, powerful, doesn't take anybody's crap. Um, and very real. Um, but then obviously I, I love Rasika, uh, and, uh, Rajish, who is the father from Isapur. I like, I love both of their characters. Uh, I think they're playing them very well. And, um, but I would be very sad if one of them was the leak. <laughs> Me too. Uh, but it, but I'm, in, I'm interested. I'm at the point now where I'm anxious for each episode because I want to see if justice happens. Yeah. Me too. And if anybody gets in the way of justice. Yeah. And it's so strange because all the stuff that 
we're obviously we're trying not to judge it from the way Americans would obviously do everything, but sometimes it's very difficult. Right. Uh, like with that end part there, like that. Um, the fact that he wasn't handcuffed with multiple people holding him if they had to cross a river, right? Um, uh, all, or or like when they grabbed the evidence they found, yeah, uh, touching evidence, all that kind of stuff. But obviously, it's it's a different country. They definitely don't put the money into law enforcement that we do here, um, right. and so it's I mean, it's just a different country. Um, so we're trying not to judge yeah. that, but sometimes it's very difficult because it's like, no, you never touch evidence. Um, yeah, but I do like the but fact. At the same time, at the at that same time, I think they're probably presenting these things as they are, and also wanting it to be known. Hey, guys, we're not we're not saying this to become judgmental and ugly toward them. We're wanting to present to you the realities of what they deal with so that you can look at them and go, Oh, we should probably fix that. Police stations shouldn't have the power turned off because somebody didn't pay the bill. People collecting evidence should do a better job of collecting the evidence. There should be better training with police officers to make sure bad guys can't escape in a river. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Not, not pointing fingers at them and saying, you guys sucked. You made mistakes, but learning from those mistakes. And that's what I feel like. I just hope, I really hope this turns out where the culprits are legitimately found, legitimately discovered as guilty, and they're legitimately punished to the fullest extent possible. Yeah, that would that would feel disgusting at the end if, like, we got to the end and they the justice was not served. That would be yeah absolutely a gut wrenching feeling. Yeah, and something I mentioned while we were watching it um, when I said this is for all you stupid babies. Um, it's been proven through psychology studies. Mm-hmm. Rape is not a sex act. Mm-hmm. Rape is an act of violence. Absolutely. So bringing into it the contributing factors that would bring men or boys into a place of sexual arousal, I'm here to tell you there is nothing at all about rape that is a sexual arousal aspect. Any man who can get an erection because he's going to do violence to a woman is number one, not experiencing a sexual act. And number two is evil. Yeah, absolutely. They're an evil human being. hundred percent. So, but yeah, um, great episode. I'm invested. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm hoping, I am I'm hoping, I'm hoping justice is served at the end. That would be extremely disheartening absolutely. if it, if, if it, if it was not, um, yep. but, that could be the story. That's like, that's why it was so impactful that, that it, because justice was not served. And so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But once again, our love is sent out to all you stupid babies who have experienced anything like this. We are here for you and we support you. And I believe all of the real stupid family is behind you as well. So, yes. Yeah. So not, not all men are creeps. Nope. On to the next episode.